Hey, welcome back to my mess of a desk here, and boy, have I got something to show you. Uh, what we have here is an Arduino Mega with an Ethernet shield and a Pololu motor driver shield. And uh, this is a DCC++ base station with network capability. And I have it connected to this little pocket Wi-Fi router here. And what I have done is added the ability for the DCC++ base station to directly talk to the Wii Throttle or Engine Driver app on my smartphone. So uh, I have actually, uh, this is the dual locomotive setup. And uh, so I've got number 1141 here and number 2121 here. Uh, they're flip-flopped on my, on my uh, throttle control, but uh, you can see I can move two locomotives either direction. And they will both respond. Number 2121's got a really slow speed curve built into it, so it's very slow to respond. Uh, I can also turn the lights on and off. I don't know if that's visible in the... Uh, well, I guess you can see the cab lighting come on there if you look really closely. And if I move my hand out of the way. And uh, also on the other locomotive you can see the... Uh, let's make sure it's going forward. So we've got the, uh, the lights will work on that. So we've got dual locomotive control, or single obviously. Uh, we've got function buttons, and of course emergency stop and all that. I'm still working on turnout support. Uh, eventually we'll have, we'll have support for turnout control as well. Maybe routes. Probably not consists because the base station itself doesn't support storing a consist in it. Uh, although we might uh, uh, we might fix that. Consists and rosters coming up. But uh, anyway, uh, so now you can have your, uh, your smartphone talk directly to your DCC++ base station and um, and uh, control your trains using your smartphone as a uh, DCC++ throttle. Cool, huh?